What you're looking at here is the PL12A 12 inch pouch laminator. This is one of our uh, most highly recommended laminators that we sell. When we sell this to a customer, very rarely do we ever have a problem with it. It's very easy to set up. It's industrial strength and it's able to handle just about anything you'll run through it. When you pull it out of the box, you'll notice that there is a temperature adjustment dial here on the bottom. Um, it goes from low to medium to high. I recommend starting at medium, seeing how it goes, and if it, uh, it needs to be hotter, you can turn it up a little or you can turn it down. When you look at a lamination pouch, it does open up much like a folder. This particular one's sealed on the long side. Sometimes you'll find lamination pouches that are sealed on the short side. Um, basically, all you do is you just open it up, place the item you're laminating inside, and close it. Now, the inside of the lamination pouch is glue. Um, right now, it's solidified, but as it runs through the machine and heats up, it will liquefy and stick to the item that's being laminated. The outside is just a hard plastic. Um, some lamination pouches are made with different types of plastic, but in the end they all look about the same. Um, there are different sizes and thicknesses of lamination pouches. Common thicknesses of lamination film would be 3 mil, 5 mil, 7 mil, and 10 mil. Uh, mil being a thousandth of an inch. The most popular thicknesses that I've seen are 5 and 7 mil. Uh, 10 is very rigid and 3 is very pliable, very easy to bend. So a 3 mil lamination pouch would actually have 3 mil on one side of the lamination pouch and 3 mil on the other side for a total of 6 mil. A 10 mil card would have 10 mil on one side and 10 mil on the other for a combined total of 20 mil. Now to give you an idea as to how thick that is, a credit card, the PVC credit card that you typically have in your wallet is 30 mil thick. So a 10 mil lamination pouch has a total thickness of 20 mil plus their paper or photograph or card stuff that you have inside. So it could very likely be as thick as a credit card. So if you look on here, you'll see a heat ready and run. I've turned the heat button on to get the laminator heated up. Once it is heated up, and it just did, the green light will turn on. And really, it only takes a matter of five to maybe 10 minutes to heat this laminator up. It heats up very quickly. One nice thing about this laminator is that it does have a separate heat and run button which means you can have it heated and ready to go without actually running the motor. Lots of the entry level laminators uh, operate the, the heat and the motor at the same time with one switch and this is nice because you don't wear that motor out as quickly because it's not running continually. So now the laminator is heated up. So now I'm ready to laminate the document. I'm going to be running a, a brochure through but you could use this for reports and other documents, photographs. Uh, you could really laminate a wide variety of material. It will work with cardstock, standard paper. Um, and I'm going to be using a carrier for this because as the laminator pulls the lamination film through the rollers, it will actually squeeze melted hot glue out the sides. And if you don't have a carrier to protect that and to catch that glue, that will get all over the rollers and will mess them up and cause the laminator to run less efficiently and over time you'll have to replace those rollers which can be very costly and uh, is probably something you don't want to run into so be sure and use a carrier every time you laminate even with laminators that say they, that you don't need a carrier I recommend still using a carrier uh, because it will extend the life of your machine now I'm using a 10 mil lamination pouch and uh, the machine's already heated up and ready to go, so I'm just going to turn the motor on and run it through the laminator. Now once it grabs the, the lamination carrier, it will pull that lamination through the machine by itself. And you want to make sure that when you put that lamination through the machine, that you put it through as straight as possible because if it goes in crooked, over time as it's running through the machine, it could run to the sides and cause the laminator to jam. Now this is designed for 12 inch wide lamination film maximum. Um, it is a little wider than that. You could probably put something in a little wider than 12 inches. But uh, again, you're going to run into the problem having the lamination hit the side of the laminator and jamming. Now as it runs through, it will be a little warm to the touch as it comes out the other end, but because this is such a big item, by the time it's run all the way through, the other end's cool enough that you can pick that up without a problem. Now after it's run through, you just open it up, 
and pull it out. This is non-stick, so it just comes right off. And there we have a laminated document. You'll notice it looks very clear, very crisp, and very smooth. This particular laminator is a four-roller laminator, which means it distributes the heat evenly through four rollers. Uh, some of the entry-level machines use two rollers and requ oftentimes require you to pass lamination through at least twice to get a, a decent job done. Uh, some of the entry-level laminators require you to run the lamination through to get uh, the same effect that you get with a laminator that has four rollers. So it saves you time in the long run, and the end result looks so much better than a two-roller laminator. Um, this is uh, a 9 by 11 and a half inch lamination pouch, but it can use smaller patches as well. There are a wide variety, uh, ranging from military, driver's license, credit card, to IBM size, letter size, key card size. There, there are just a wide variety of pouches, and we sell them all on our website, and all of our pouch lamination film will work with this machine. Now I'm going to laminate something using a, a school card size lamination pouch. And I do have a carrier that's a little bit smaller that I'm going to use with that. Uh, you could use this for laminating an ID badge, a uh, business card, a wide variety of items. I'm just going to stick a sheet of paper in here just so you can see what it looks like when it comes out the other end. Now I do have a smaller carrier. Again, remember to use the carrier every time. And just place that inside. Again, it's the laminator is already heated up, so just turn the motor on and run it through. Another problem that uh, I've seen when people don't use carriers is that the lamination film will actually get wrapped under the rollers and get jammed in the machine. And in that case, you have to take the whole thing apart to get it back out. Now, because it is smaller, it does run through the laminator a lot faster. And I'm going to turn the motor off and pull that out. And there you go. Now, if for any reason this lamination film were cloudy, uh, that would be an indication that the laminator is too cold and needs to be turned up. If the lamination film appears rippled or bubbled, uh, it's an indication that the lamination film is being run through at too high a temperature uh, because the, lam the glue that's on the inside of the lamination pouch is actually boiling from the heat and uh, will cause those bubbles and ripples. Uh, maintenance of the machine is very easy. Uh, as long as you use the carrier with the lamination pouches, you shouldn't have a problem with maintenance. Um, I highly recommend uh, to turn the machine off when you're not using it. However, we do have some customers that like to just leave the heat on continually and just turn the motor on and off whenever they need to use it. Uh, the, the heating element in this laminator is very reliable, does not burn out, uh, and this machine should easily last you years. Uh, again, this is one of our customer choice laminators, very popular among print shops, copy shops, schools, universities, and other businesses and can be used to laminate a wide variety of documents. And uh, not only does it look good, not only does it give it a glossy feel and appearance, but it also protects the document for years to come.